Welcome to STEM Club. This week we're having a CSI theme because we're going to be finding DNA. And luckily for you, there is no crime scene because we're going to be extracting it from a banana. You'll need a few things to gather together, but most of this you should have at home. So I've got a few spoons from the kitchen, um, a banana, a funnel, some coffee filter paper, a plastic bag, a little pot, a pot that I'm going to put some hot water in, and then some washing up liquid and some salt. You will also need some ethanol, which you need to put in the freezer. Right, so the first thing you want to do is put your banana in a plastic bag so you can chop it up as you go. I'm going to get my hands messy. You can do this a cleaner way if you like. And then you can put it inside the plastic bag and just smush it all up. You can use a pestle and mortar if you've got one of those at home. A plastic bag is fine, it might just take you a bit longer. But what we want to do is we're starting already to break down all of the cells inside the banana so we can get the DNA out of the cells. So put my banana in my plastic bag. Now don't tie the top up because we will need to add some more things later. So let's get smushing. And you're gonna love doing this at home. <laughs> Once you've got this wonderful goopy banana syrup that's all nice and smooth, so you check there are no lumps in there, you then want to add a bit of salt. So you want to add about three spatulas. I have got this, so I'm just going to use the smallest one of these, and I'm going to add three of those. And this is going to start to break down further the bananas, and the salt is actually going to help the DNA clump together so we'll be able to see it. So adding three spoons of salt and again I'm just going to give that a mush around and then we also want to add about half a cup of water. Now this wants to be warm water but not boiling water so the easiest way to make that is boil a kettle of water and then add some cold water. Okay so we've got our water that's warm so what we're going to do so we've added our salt so we want about half a cup so we're going to add about half of this to our mixture. And give them that a good squish around. I'm just going to add my washing up liquid now. So about 10 millilitres of washing up liquid. All right, and then give everything a really good mix up in your bag. So the washing up liquid actually breaks down the cell walls um, inside the banana and so that able, enables the DNA to come out. So just give it a really good mix and just keep mixing it in all that warm water because the more you mix it the more you're going to break down the banana cells and then the more you are going to DNA you're going to get out of that banana. So you don't want to make it foamy you just want all that washing up liquid. So DNA stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid DNA and it's actually at the building blocks of life. It's kind of like the instruction manual for building you. So everybody has their own DNA. So it's unique to every human. But what's interesting about DNA is it's actually only made up of four letters. So there's four different kind of molecules which attach together. They are A, T, C and G. And so they attach together um, to make you you. So it's amazing. Just imagine our alphabet only being made of four letters to write the instructions of everything and, and that's how many make up our DNA. Right, once you have given that a thorough mix, what we're then gonna do is get our pot and our funnel, our funnel and a filter paper. Pour that in the top there and then leave it for a bit. Okay, so I've got my ethanol out of the freezer and the ethanol I'm using is hand sanitizer. So it is ingredients ethanol, so it's 80% ethanol. So I'm hoping this will work and we're just gonna pour it very carefully on top of what we have filtered. So you just wanna tilt it slightly so it just kind of balances on top and you wanna add it about, just not too much. And then you should see, oh wow! Oh, that's so cool. That's some little stringy bits of DNA. And that is actual banana DNA. So it's 
so cool. And if you've got a stick handy, you can just see if you can get a little bit out. Maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, you can actually see DNA. And amazingly, 60% of our DNA is the same as a banana. So this is a brilliant experiment to try out home. Yep, there's some. Wow, that's so cool. Crime scene investigators want to find DNA because of this unique property. If they find a trace of even a hair or some blood at the crime scene, they can use that to extract the DNA using more complicated equipment and techniques that we've been using. But you can see how you can extract DNA from things. They can use this DNA to then try and work out the person involved in the crime, which is why DNA is so vitally important in crime scene investigation because everybody has their own unique DNA. To expand this further, you could try extracting DNA from a kiwi fruit as well, or a strawberry, and see if that's easy if you get more DNA out of either of those fruits. Do let us know how you've got on extracting DNA in our STEM club sharing post in our Facebook group. You'll find the link below. And if you haven't tried popping a balloon already with an orange, do check it out in our previous video, which you can find here. We'll see you next week for more STEM fun. I hope this bag doesn't have any holes in it.